Hey guys, Zero here with another vlog review on some more Toku stuff. Today we're going to talk about uh, Resha Sentai Tokyuger versus Juden Sentai Kyoryuger the movie. I'm really excited to talk about this, so let's just get to it. So, I saw the movie, um, Imagination Station subbed it this time. Uh, I didn't really want to wait for overtime or TV Nihon. I'm impatient, whatever. <clears throat> But uh, I really liked it. I think it's one of the best Sentai movies we had in years. Team-up movies, I mean. Um, and uh, I guess I'll just go over what I really liked. Um, one thing I was concerned about when the movie started was it kind of felt like the Kyoto Ujers were being shown as better. Um, but over time, uh, I learned that that wasn't the case. It was the same on both sides. Let me explain this. Um, the Tokyo Ujers can't fight... The uh, the Kyojujers enemies, uh, which uh, the Jukens or whatever, I forget their name, and the Kyojujers can't fight the Shadow, the Shadow Line, so they can't fight each other's enemies. And the movie started off with the Tokyojers fighting some of the uh, members from uh, Debos, so it kind of seemed like they weren't as strong, and kind of uh, the Kyojujers were like, we don't want you to get involved and whatnot. So kind of treating them underling, but uh, there wasn't like a difference in power really. Um, one thing, and Linkara said this, one thing a team should never do is make one team look better than the other. And in terms of power, it never did that. I think the Kyoto Jurors were kind of overconfident. That was the big thing, especially Daigo or King. Um, speaking of which, mingling between the teams, mostly between King and... Uh, and... Uh, Right. It's mostly between them. But um, the the team does mingle, uh, not as much as the the previous team-ups we've had. Much better than the last team-up, because they... The Go Busters were barely in that movie. Um, which goes to show of how, like, they kind of got tossed aside um, because of their popularity. But, uh... But, yeah, so, um... There's just things in this movie that aren't in the series, and I'm gonna try my best not to spoil them, but, um... Uh, let's just say the Tokyujers are a lot more powerful than you think. The kid Tokyu, like, they get turned into children at part of the movie. This is a spoiler, uh, but it was in the trailer. And they can transform still. And they're just as strong <laughs> as when they're adults. So, the Tokyujers are really powerful. <laughs> Let me just put it that way. Um, so they have to get the ideas because they can't uh, fight each other's enemies. They combine their weapons. So the Kyojujers can use the uh, the Reshas and the um, and the Tokyujers. I don't have a Resha around, but the Tokyujers can use the Judenshi. So um, they load them into their weapons, and there's even a big Judenshi train at one point. So um, we do get both Magazords in all their glory and um, in their full powered up forms. Um, we also get. Uh, to see both uh, Hyper, Tokyo Ichigo, and uh, Kyoto Red Carnival, so we get to see those. Um, though, Hyper, Tokyo Ichigo gets a lot less screen time, unfortunately. Um, and it's a perfect mix of the teams. It's From the Kyoto Ujiro side, it kind of broadens the perspective they never thought of. This is the whole world they're talking about. And I think the Kyoto Ujiro didn't want them in it because they didn't realize that. They've always been trying to save the world city by city, uh, station by station. But now, when the entire world is at threat, they finally realize that, uh, you know, there's a lot more at stake here than what is just, uh, than what we can just see. So, um, it kind of shows a little bit of maturity for the Tokyo Jurors. Um, the Kyoto Jurors are, uh, learn to be less arrogant because at one point they're all unconscious and the Tokyo Jurors have to pick up the slack. But, um, they fight well together. The teams blend together. Um, there wasn't... <laughs> this is going to make me sound creepy, but there wasn't enough of Kyoryu Black being a playboy. Instead, he got the opposite, where um, Kyoryu Pink, Tokyu, uh, Tokyu 5, and Tokyu 3 just kind of like do a combo attack, and they just kind of leave him there. He's like, hey, let me in there. And he throws his gun like, what the fuck? <laughs> Um, but it's great. Merging the Rainbow Line powers and the Kyo and the Judenshis together was... It worked out really well. And I wouldn't be surprised if there's going to be... If there was some special Judenshis that work in the, in the Tokyo Toys out or vice versa. But uh, 
without getting too much into spoiling, um, turns out their villain is pretty much the god of creation. So yes, the Kyoto Jers and the Tokyo Jers are fighting a god. That's epic. And, oh, it's just... I, I might be gushing a little bit because I like both these teams a lot. Um, don't get me wrong. It's not that I didn't like the Go Busters or the Go Kaijers or Go Sagers or such and such and such. Uh, but this is the team up we've kind of deserved for a while. We get all the fan service -y combos and whatnot. And it was really it was really well done. It's and I know a lot of people... And I've said this before, but I know a lot of people do not like Tokyo Jir. A lot of uh, Sentai fans and Tokyo fans in general just don't like Tokyo Jir, but they love Kyoto Jir. So most people who are going to see this are probably going to go into it why you don't see Kyoto Jir. But the Tokyo Jirs are just as awesome in this movie. It it feels equal. No one feels left out. How would I rate it in my favorite team ups? Mm. I don't really have a favorite Sentai team ups, but favorite team ups of all time, I'd put it under. It would definitely be under Mega Max. Um, would it be under Reinforcements from the Future? I don't know. I don't know where it ranks. I just think it's a really good team up, and I think everybody should check it out, regardless of. Oh, so bad. How do you feel about Tokyo Jr. or not? Because honestly, I like both series, so it was it was a treat for me. But uh, anyways, that's enough of my rambling. Thanks for watching my uh, vlog on this awesome movie. Go check it out. Later.